it's happy time, yay! And Minnie's right in there, and then we got uh, Mickey, Mickey and Minnie both. Yay, happy time! And as happy time comes, the sun of love arises. Can you handle love? I hope. I'm Daniel, uh, Windsor, Ontario. Say hello. Hello, Mark. The one revealed in Revelation 13, 13, the sword swallower who would die by a sword. Watch my uh, videos on Morg. Very interesting. Welcome to Happy Time. And I'm going to just do a real quick reading that might not sound like it starts off happy, but there's a happy uh, reason why rebuking one another has to happen in love in a way that is um, adult, in a way that's tempered with wisdom. And that's the key, the word tempered. Everything, every decision that we ever make in regards to others has to be tempered. Our, our judgments have to be tempered because we're full of ignorance when it comes to others. So be kind, rewind, and enjoy Neil Sadaka, one of my favorites. So people, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe. I'm Daniel. There's no doubt that our true bread would say unto anyone not interested in hearing about his sufferings that if they're closed-minded to his gospel of, of love, of his greatest adoration, they're also closing their arms so they can never receive the mighty blessings he would love them to have. Fortunately, as such souls end up just holding themselves, being able to receive his, this passion through me, about the uh, stone the builders rejected. Never shall the, that lover of men close his arms to them or snuff out any spark that might still be burning in the wick of their darkened souls. So we got to keep that love of light, light on. Um, then we don't perish by the unforgivable sin. If we let our light go out, we don't exist in the next life because our body is made of light. For in his long suffering, Yeshua silently weeps over hard hearted people who don't have any desire to wit witness the blazing truth of the brightest loyalty of devotion should always cause bravery to come forth in the midst of the spirit of sacrifice, which then goes on to create unbreakable trust in love's strongest power. Then love becomes the spiritual catalyst that swiftly propels exuberant praise from earth to heaven as if it were a ray of light being reflected back from whence it came. Welcome to days as Habakkuk 2, for the glory of the Lord shall cover the seas as the waters cover the oceans and as the lands are covered by the grass and lilies cover the ponds. And let it also be understood that genuine devotion to God is a matter for silver and golden hearts who are willing to sacrifice their very own desires because of their divine love to He that long ago called them into being. And He calls each one of us by name as if we were the only one. And if we can get that into our spirits, don't nobody ever exalt me, please. I'm just a servant of the Lord. So try also to comprehend that even though people may love truth and their friends who dabble within the ways of falseness, our Father of Trust always requires those who are true blue to honor truth first and foremost, even if it dishonors those who say they love him or love them. Thusly, love never knows its own depths until some shallow times of tragedy comes forth unexpectedly to test love's diligence and its inherent wisdom. 
Accordingly, the honest truth is that love perfected only comes little by little through the imperfection of people stumbling, falling, and getting back up so they can continue onwards while walking their very best walk of love. For if we walk in the ways of love, there is no condemnation. For there is no condemnation for those who walk in the Spirit. Romans 8. Love this song. And uh, so let all people of light start telling other, others about God's mighty acts and His tremendous mercies of His kingdom age new covenant given to all flesh, that He loves all and shall forgive all their iniquity, and that He doesn't even need to be taught about anymore. And let all of His children continually speak of His glorious splendor of His majesty, and that belonging to His only begotten. For His wondrous works of awe need to be proclaimed as those of faith look upon His most gracious compassion. And we are children of love and we reflect His love. Let our love return from whence it came and it shall return unto you a thousandfold, thus saith love. And uh, if it doesn't kill us, it makes us, us stronger. Hopefully, that's the message. And uh, his uh, most wondrous works of awe need to be proclaimed as those of faith look upon his most gracious compassion. Only by doing so may they finally get it into their spirits that loving another until it hurts brings forth a paradox within humanity since since the hurting shall suddenly disappear like a wave of love that's left behind in its wake. There's healing in love. As we give till it hurts, we're healed by it. We're healed by it. Amen. Love from love, hope from hope. Until next time. Come on back now, you hear? There we go. Bye. 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 Can't shut myself off. That's not.